So it's it's only Actually, important if you have something inside of them. It appears that there is one here though. Isn't there a royal jelly in there? No, I don't see any. Just a minute here. Let me turn it down. Nope. It was just. Okay, this is a frame of mostly capped brood. Good, healthy brood. Nice brood pattern. Mostly dark bees. Dark bees are the uh, carnioleans. Mm -hmm. And are Russians a special strain of carnioleans? Yes. Okay. What's the difference between a carniolan and a Russian? Then? Uh, Can you tell the by looking? Russian queens were gathered uh, in eastern Russia. They had been isolated as a line of bees for some time. They showed a lot of resistance to the to the mite. And Tom Render with the USDA lab collected 100 of those queens. There she is. Okay. Right Where? here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Got the white dot on her? Where? I'll bring her right down to your screen lens. Yep. Yep. There she is. How old is the white dot? Uh, Paul Klein. That's a this year queen. Oh. Okay. Big black queen. We, huh? Yeah, because we marked it here. Brad Poet was here and he had a pen and we just had white. It was supposed to be marking green this year, but we only had a white. So there's another queen cell. This is nothing in it. It's just a cup. Oh, she flipped slides on us. Now she's on this side. Yeah. So the fact they're all those queen cells mean that they're thinking well, about these something? These will build queen cells and then if they hit a, a period of weather that's not favorable, they will uh, now what we're going to do, see how this queen has got a revenue around her, taking care and feeding her? You can see that very clearly on this. Mm -hmm. Now she's, she's turned around and she's moving again. So what I'm going to do is catch her, I get her by the back wings, hmm. and we're going to put her down into this hive, over here, away from where we... Hey, good girl. There okay. We don't want to crush her. So you know where she's at. Okay. Now we'll put our frames. It doesn't make any difference to me, Terry, uh, whether they're out of the same spot or not. One way you can always keep track of your frames is you can number them. And then always back in the same spot. Uh, B inspectors, for the most part, will take only a few frames out of each hive and they're looking primarily for brood frames. And they'll examine the brood for disease. And then they'll put the hive back together the way it came, came out, which is good. There is a bunch of good bees on the side of that. Looks like producing some good. This is like taking a little package. <laughs> and this hive. Yes, it is. <laughs> So you did that to strengthen this hive? Yeah, a lot of the older bees will come back to this hive. But the nurse bees will stay there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start moving some of these frames that are drawn out. Because this hive doesn't have to work as hard. And then we're going to take that deep box, Terry. Mm -hmm. And we're going to set it on top of this, so we've got a shallow or a medium box on top. Now, this the frames that we're putting up here will also have brood on it, so you'll have younger bees on those brood frames. And the brood in this hive will help the population. This real small hive as well. Yeah, it'll take off now. How many frames are you going to put over there? I'm going to put what I've got here. I've got five, and then the balance we're going to put over here into this hive. Okay? So we know we're not transferring the queen. Put, putting a whole lot of empty frames. Yes, we here. will, but this hive won't need any uh, of these drawn frames. 
what I'll do is I'll carry these over to this hive. Keep in mind, this hive is an eight frame hive, so we're gonna be putting four frames, which is, uh, do we have another frame drawn? I don't well, think so. This is, it's empty. Okay. So what we'll do is put it in here, right in the center. And then we'll add new frames over here. Finish this up. And then we'll close this hive up. Yeah. What we can do with this hive is go down and add it five frames. I've got a pen here if you need. And I have record books that I picked up at HAS that we can transfer all this information that's on these inner covers into our record book. And then we'll have an exact record of all of our bees when we go when we go to the I'm so glad you're picking that up train. Okay. This is the difference between new beekeeper and old beekeeper. New beekeepers will try to preserve the life of every bee. Uh, it takes me, that adds about 50% of my inspection time when I'm working with Susan. Yeah. She's got to scrape every <laughs> And then, and a, a person who has kept bees for a period of time will, actually, that's it. It's going to go in here, right? On here? Well, either one here. It'll one. eventually go on top of here. Yeah. Either one, that one's, well, we're going to take that unpainted one off then, aren't we? No, all these are supposed to have, all the mediums are supposed to have three medium supers on them. Okay. This super here this will eventually come over here. You know what this hive, you see on top of uh, 1004. Well, this hive has plenty of brood. Also, uh, for the winter, you just need two deeps. Yes. Three mediums. Right. Okay. Uh, this hive here has got a good laying queen. Uh, it's got a good supply of food, and still another two months yep. to to gather surplus honey from fall honey flowers. So we should be in pretty good shape with that. Bless you. Conrad called me and said, Dana, you remember that picture of Terry with the cow standing behind him? You took that picture? I said, yes, I did. He says, I want you to uh, uh, make that into an 8 by 10 and submit it to the, the contest. <laughs> so Terry's going to be uh, recognized here before too long uh, as being the guy with the cows in the bee yard behind him. Okay, now. What we need to do is raise those up and just set them here toward the center. And this hive here has got comb drawn out down below, yeah. really nice, and queen's laying well. Look at this man. We put four frames four of frames. Uh, drawn comb and some brood. Okay. 